No, no, we got that out of the way. Look what I just got in the mail. It's my diploma. Hold on, can y'all see it? Can y'all see it? It says it's from FAU. So, what I'm gonna do is open this on camera for y'all. Hey, right, I'm gonna take this off though, cause it's a little hot. G A N G, that's a gang of blood. Well, no way, that's a count, that's a gang. Bitch, I'm with the G A N G, that's a gang. Red died on the Glock, so it ain't no need to aim. Feel like major pain, cause a nigga bring your pain. Good well, no way, that shit running through my veins. What's up, YouTube? It's Hill, and I am back with another video. And today, I got some discussion for y'all. Man, I've been working on this for four years. Like I said in this intro. I got my diploma. Got a letter. We just got a letter. So I'm gonna open it for y'all. With y'all. You feel me? Because I feel like we went through this journey together. Even though I stopped posting. I did that one video that uh on my my move-in time, my move-in day. So I feel like it's only right to show y'all that I succeeded and graduated. And also, I'm going to give y'all the inside scoop on what it's like going to FAU. So, without further ado, I'm going to turn it this way. Oh, that's perfect, perfect. I'm Angel Walker, Bachelor of Business Administration with a major in Management. So, with that being said, your girl graduated college. I hope y'all can see that. So just to give y'all a few details on what I went to college for, like it says, Bachelor of Business Administration with a major in management. But also with that, I had a concentration in entrepreneurship. You're probably like, oh, why do you have a concentration in entrepreneurship? Well, if you don't know already, I started my clothing brand Ever Reality. I started it in my freshman dorm, like towards the end of the year. So right now I'm out of school, um, taking time out to focus on my dreams, Focus on my business, build my brand. So check it out, link below will be my shop, urbanroyalty.com. Okay, now I got my handy dandy notebook with a few notes on um, what it was like going to FAU so I try not to miss anything, even though I probably still will. All right, so first thing, social life. For me personally, I am an introvert. I'm I'm not shy, but you know, I like to, I like to be by myself. I like to chill, just watch TV, you know, nothing too much. So with that, I had to break myself out of my shell. Um, my first, my freshman year actually, um, I was really to myself like in my dorm all the time. The only reason I really would like go out of my dorm is because I had a dorm mate. So, well, a suite mate. So in your dorm, the suite has two rooms and then there's two people in each room. So it was four of us total. But one of my suite mates, um, she, you know, we kind of got cool, and we've been friends ever since. And she put me onto some of her friends. We used to always chill, play the game, you know, listen to music, all that. I would recommend you try to make friends with your roommate because that can be one of your first friends. And then with that, um, she put me onto some of her friends. Uh, I was still a little, you know, to myself or whatever. So then, uh, I want to say, Freshman to sophomore year, I was pretty much the same. Like, I was by myself, chilling. You know, I'll go out every once in a while with them and we'll just kick it. So, it wasn't really too much for me. And then my uh, junior year, I believe that's when COVID hit. So, I actually moved off campus. And, um, you know, nobody really had a social life. So, that explains that. But, you know, I was just working, you know. I'll be at my, with my friends every once in a while, but it wasn't too much social life. But now my senior year, this is where it comes in with the tips on how y'all can get friends or how y'all can be social, you know what I'm saying? So my first tip is for you to be active on campus. And by this, I mean, we have a breezeway. You'll always hear it when you go to FAU, the breezeway, okay? That's where all the booths and things are set up. That's where everybody goes through to go to each class. You know, some people have classes that you don't have to go to the breezeway, but majority of the classes, or at least the, your first two years of classes will be connected to the breezeway. So all the organizations, all the clubs, whatever, they're all gonna be set up on the breezeway when you first get there and then throughout throughout the year, they'll be there. So join a club, 
join the organization. So me personally, I recommend the Black Student Union first off, off rip. Okay, that's where you're gonna meet all your peers, everybody that's probably, you know, has the same background as you. And even if you don't join the Black Student Union, there's so many clubs out there or so many organizations that you can join and you just have to find the one that's tailored to, you know, you and your background. Like, for example, there's also a, um, a Latinx student union. So, that's just something to think about. Also, I recommend joining a organization or a club that has to do with your major or your future. For example, I joined Alpha Kappa Psi Co-Ed Business Professional Fraternity Incorporated. And with that, our main focus was to build our professionalism and our business mindset with any and everything that we do. I built some bonds with them. They became my family. Um, they helped me get through my last two semesters of college. And then they're now still supporting me, my business, you know, my life. They're always there for me. So that's just a couple things that I recommend. I can't go too much in depth with that, but y'all check them out on campus. Alpha Kappa Psi Co-Ed Business Professional Fraternity Incorporated. All right, now for the classes. It depends on your major, okay? So I started with, um, I started as a computer science major. I dropped that like my first semester because um, I was in coding. What was it? Programming. I was in programming and I really just couldn't understand like, you know, the accent of the professor, which is all fine. Um, also, I thought about psychology. That was a few classes that I was in. I actually loved that class. It was a lot of work, but you know, it was very information filled, very, you know, intriguing. Um, then I changed my major to business and then that goes with um, majoring in management and entrepreneurship. All in all, the classes, um, I would say they're pretty, I wouldn't say they're easy, you know. I feel like God was with me through all my classes, so, you know, he helped me get through that. Um, but I would recommend just making sure, if you're not a good test taker, okay, that's me. If you're not a good test taker, make sure you complete all the assignments. Make sure that you try to get the highest grade on the regular homework assignments or regular, you know, assignments that are given or projects that are given if you're not going to do good on the exams, okay? Also, um, if you do bad on the exam or bad on a quiz, whatever, or if you miss a homework assignment, communicate with your professor. Don't be scared to shoot them a text or on Canvas, shoot them a message, you know? A lot of times they're open to helping you out. They'll give you an extension on a, um, a project or a homework assignment so that you can get that grade for it, even if they take, you know, a few points away, you know. Well, anything is better than a zero. So um, do all your homework assignments, do all your projects, and nine times, I want to say nine times out of ten, maybe seven or eight times out of ten, depending on the class, you'll pretty much pass it with the grade that you need for your major. So also I want to give you a little bit of background. If you don't know how college works in particular, you know, you're new to the scene. That was me. I didn't really know too much in depth of how college worked. But you, you know, you do your prereqs first. Um, me, my prereqs took, I want to say, I think it usually only supposed to take your first two years, but I think mine took, um, like two and a half. Mine took a little bit longer because you know, accountant had the girl in the chokehold, okay? I had to redo that class. But you know, it is what it is. You know, you gotta make sure that you finish. Regardless of how many times you gotta take a class, you really only get, I believe, three chances to take a class, maybe two. But don't do not do like I did. Try to try to like, you know, go full force with your class so you don't have to redo it. Um, it didn't really put me back too much because I took, uh, I would also recommend this, take five classes per semester. And then in the summer, don't just, you know, don't just do nothing in the summer. Take two classes in the summer and five classes every semester, okay? And this would keep you on track because this kept me on track. So because I had to do a class over, um, I still had all my other classes, you know, done. I just had to get that one class to, you know, continue with getting my degree. Also, um, we have a, I don't know if it's still the same, but we had an um, a online a online class um, requirement and we had a summer class requirement. So guess what I did? I put them together. 
I did summer classes online, okay? So this means you don't have to stay on campus. Depending on the class, you don't have to stay on campus. So I did my summer classes online. I picked two of the easiest classes that I could um that I needed for my major and I did those. They're mostly elective, so yeah, that's what I went with. If you're a business major like me and you have to take negotiation, okay, take it with Deborah Searcy. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. If I'm butchering it, I'm so sorry. But she's like the best professor I had, hands down, okay? And this is my last, that was my last semester. I had her my last semester. Best professor, hands down. She also teaches global strategy, okay? So take her for both classes. Now, when it comes to global strategy, do not take, I can't remember his first name, but I believe his last name is Nuberman, okay? He almost, he almost had your girl done for you, feel me? Like, he, he kinda like messed me up a little bit. Um, He messed me up just a little bit, like, you know, he was trying to throw me on my game, I almost, you know, had to redo his class and mind you it's my it was my last semester but i'm not gonna put all the blame on him but you know you know what i'm saying like it's some professors out there you know they don't always want the best for you but for the most part he was the only professor that i ever had a problem with um i just stayed true to myself i stay honest and you know try to get as much work done as i possibly could and try to do the best i could and at the end of the day you see I still got my degree, okay? Me being in the LGBTQ plus community, okay, in this Pride Month, so I wanna put y'all on a little bit of tea. So there are clubs that um, support LGBTQ plus. Um, they always have events. I believe they may be having one, you know, on campus for Pride Month, but I'm not there, you know, I'm, I graduated. So they always, you know, been very inclusive. I never had a problem with, um, I never had a problem with any bullying. I never had a problem with my friends not accepting me. Um, I never had a problem with um, a professor, you know, talking about my sexuality or anything like that. So it was always inclusive, always, you know, love from the whole campus, okay? I believe that this campus is an LGBTQ, you know, safe place. But of course, it probably depends on, you know, what group of people you hang around. So, you know, always throw your P's and Q's about that. So last thing I wanted to add, with the help of my mom, I graduated debt free, okay? I have no college debt. If y'all want me to share with y'all how I did it, um, just comment down below and I got y'all. Um, it's gonna depend on the person. It's gonna depend on probably where you're from. But of course, I'll always give out the, you know, the free game, you feel me? But if you guys have any more questions, if you already go to FAU and you graduated, congrats to you too. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, share with your mom, your daddy, your grandma, auntie, uncle, niece, nephew. Anybody that y'all think that will benefit from this video, any college, any high school graduates that you think um, will benefit from this video or are looking for a great college to go to, I highly recommend FAU. Um, a lot of people also think that FAU is like, um, well, of course it's a PWI, but there is a black community at FAU. So don't let that scare you. A few other things that I wanna add that's just, you know, random facts or random opinions of mine. Um, the calf, the calf definitely got better throughout the years. Um, and it was it was good, you know, I ate mostly like fries and a burger every, every time I went, but, you know, it was decent food. They have uh, vegan options, healthy options. Also, I want to add um, football games and tailgating was very cool. Like my first couple years, um, that was my favorite events to go to. They're always giving out free stuff at the, uh, the basketball games and even the football games. Um, I never been to any other sports games. Um, I played lacrosse for, I believe, just one semester and it was right before COVID. So that's why I stopped playing. Um, I was supposed to go back, but I just didn't end up going back. I just went to, you know, focus on school and work. Our lacrosse team was actually a club, but since a lot of schools in Florida don't really have lacrosse, we were kind of treated as, um, like, an actual team um, in the aspects of a little bit of professionalism, having games to play, um, traveling, and just all around fun. So I recommend playing lacrosse too or just, 
play whatever sport you want. There's a gym, like it has a gym, um, basketball, swimming pool. Um, I recommend that you live on an IVA after your freshman year. I lived at IVA North, it was pretty cool. But all in all, I just wanna say, when you're going to college, be yourself, okay? You don't have to be anybody else. Be your true and full self. This is the place where you go to, you know, actually be yourself. You know, back at home in high school, you probably wanted to follow um, what your parents told you to do, you know, what your friends told you to do, or how you thought your friends wanted you to act. Go to college and be yourself. Be your true, full self, okay? If you want to become another person, like you're the come the person that you really truly want to be, college is the place to restart. Okay, whatever you did in high school, that's dead now. This is a whole new life. Okay, so be yourself, have fun, you know, and always stay safe. But that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. I'm gonna be dropping more videos um very 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 soon. So just look out for that. If y'all got any questions, comment down below. Make sure you like this video. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your mom, your daddy, grandma, auntie, uncle, niece, nephew, sister, brother, cousin. You know, you know. On game.